Welcome to showandtell-graphics.com and we got another video here for the Video Vault and this one's called Vintage Tone for Photos. This is the photo we're going to start with and the first thing you want to do is duplicate the background so we'll right click on it and click duplicate layer click OK then we want to turn off the top layer that way you can see what's happening with this background layer click back to the background layer and go to image adjustments channel mixer in the channel mixer you want to make sure that you have the monochrome box checked and then you want to go to this first box the red and say plus 45 and then down to the next box green and say plus 45 and on the blue you want to say plus 10 alright now that you have that you want to turn your top layer back on and highlight it and then in this blending mode of that layer click on this little arrow and click soft light okay now what you want to do is come up here to filter blur Gaussian blur and right here you want to play around with this depending on the resolution of your picture and whatnot slide this slider back and forth until you get the, the effect that you're looking for I'm gonna set mine at 12 say OK and right away you have a almost a picture that looks like it come from the Holocaust or something it's kinda cool looking very subdued and black and white with just a little bit of color coming through and we'll do just one more thing to this to kinda bring it out bring out the subjects a little bit and what you will want to do is add a new layer click on this little icon here add a new layer and on that layer you want to fill it with black edit fill with black next thing you want to do is come over here to the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection something like this and you want the edges to be semi the same doesn't matter if it's exactly the same but you know similar then you want to right click in the middle of this and click feather and I'm gonna choose a feather radius of 35 pixels and then click OK and you get this little rounded radius all the way around and then all you have to do is hit delete and what that does is delete everything in the middle hit control D and then you have a kind of a burnt edge that fades from the black into the center and really brings out the subject really nicely um, this is a pretty cool effect and this is also a really neat thing you can do for wedding photos as well anyways here's another one for the video vault thank you for coming come and see me at showandtell-graphics.com got a whole bunch of other tutorials thanks for coming <laughs>